Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me for Just the Basics, Customizing Search and Sharing Results. My name is Wendy Huckins, and I'm the Training Specialist here at Prime MLS. All of our webinars are available for all of our members to attend, and they are also conducted in a listen-only mode. But we still encourage your questions, so go ahead, take a moment, find that chat box that is often at the bottom of your screen in your Zoom menu, open up that chat box, and that way if you have a question over the next 60 minutes, you can type that question into the chat box. I get those questions in real time. So as they come in, I am more than happy to stop and answer your question. Additionally, I'm happy to stay at the conclusion of the webinar and answer questions at that time as well. While all of our members of Prime MLS are able to attend our webinars, if you happen to be a New Hampshire licensee, you can additionally potentially earn one CE for your license renewal. The other states are not offering this CE credit as our Zoom format does not meet their requirements. How this process will work if you are a New Hampshire licensee that would like to earn the one CE, make sure you're in the full session. About 30 minutes at the after the conclusion of the webinar, I'll be sending out an email, and in that email will be access to that quiz. Now, keep in mind that email is going to go out to everybody who's been in the full session. That quiz is always completely optional and only applicable if you're a New Hampshire licensee. If you're a New Hampshire licensee and you take that quiz and you score an 80% or higher, that is how you earn that 1CE. Couple of things to keep in mind. This is a completely manual process on my part. So at the conclusion of the webinar, I have to go in, review the attendance list, put together that email, and then send that out with the quiz access. As folks are taking that quiz and the um, scores are being um, uh, tabulated, um, I will need to go back in, review those scores, and then put together your affidavit and email that out. Every quiz does have an expert expiration date. This quiz will expire on Monday, May, 5th, uh, May 17th. No, that's absolutely incorrect. It will expire on Monday, June 17th. So you have until Monday to take this quiz at five o'clock. You will no longer have that access. Um, so you can expect those affidavits to be emailed throughout the week next week. Now, if you don't see your quiz uh, access in your inbox within about 30 minutes of the conclusion of the webinar, please reach out to training at primemls.com um, and we can figure out where that quiz access is. You might also want to check your junk and spam folders because it does sometimes go there. Also, if you're a New Hampshire licensee that takes that quiz and you need that affidavit um, sooner rather than later, also reach out to me at training at primemls.com, and I'm more than happy to put a rush on that for you. All right, now that we have gotten through that, we can talk about what we are here um, to talk about. We are going to go over searching for results in both Paragon Connect and Paragon Professional. So what is the difference between Paragon Connect and Paragon Professional, also known as Paragon Pro? Well, keep in mind, it is one database, the Paragon database, and you have two different views of that database of information. So Paragon Professional is that older view that you've been looking at for years and years. Paragon Connect is that newer, exciting view. It is built um, to be responsive to your screen size, and that means it's available for you to use on any device. And that includes both Android and Apple phones, notebooks, tablets, PCs. Um, you can use any device and access Paragon Connect. Now, Paragon Professional, that older view at the software, it is really best viewed only on larger screens. So you really should be on a laptop or a um, PC. 
Now you're able to customize and save your search um, in both Paragon Connect and Paragon Professional. And you can save those searches with and without criteria. When you save a search with criteria, that means you've put information in those fields and that's just gonna make that search run a little faster for you. You're going to have access to all of your saved searches, whether it was created in Paragon Connect or Paragon Professional in both views of that database. And when you're in Paragon Connect, you also have a feature that will let you see your last searches that you've run and looked at results, but maybe you didn't save. That is a way you can kind of recover that information. In Paragon Professional, you actually have your last 15 um, that you could once again potentially recover and then save from there. So why would you want to take the time to customize your search in either view of that Paragon database? Well, we've created many default search templates for you in all those different classes of properties, but if there's a field that you need that isn't there, you can easily add it by customizing your search. And if you want to, um, if you plan to use that newly customized search template, um, and if you save that template with fields already with data in those fields, you can even make that your default search template. And that means that is what is going to populate for you every time you log in to that class search, and you're going to be able to get those results even faster with that information being saved. Once again, remember, all the information that that you save in either view of that database will be available for you on either view. So once you have and you're running those searches, you're getting search results. What can you do with those search results? Well, in both Paragon Professional and Paragon Connect, you're able to email, print, and text information out to your clients. You can add properties to listing carts. So that is a great way to save your results as opposed to saving the search. And depending on when you run that search, you're going to get different results, right? Because properties will come on and off the market, go under contract. So if you want to save a result, listing carts is a great way to do that. You can also get driving directions and access our third-party integrations like CRS. CRS is a public record database. It's integrated into both views of the Paragon database, and I will um, be talking more about that later. In Paragon Professional, you will note that you have multiple report options, and that is going to be an additional feature of that older view of the Paragon software that you have there. While in Paragon Connect, you're going to only have access to text your results when you're viewing Paragon Connect on your phone. So important to know that. Um, you also have a very full and robust property report in Paragon Connect, and we'll be talking all about that. And you are able to view your results of your searches in multiple ways in Paragon Connect. You can view those search results as a thumbnail, as a spreadsheet, or as a map view. So we'll be toggling through those options as well. With that, we can exit out of our slide deck. And I always like to start on our Prime MLS dashboard. This is where you have that access to both views of that Paragon database. Paragon Professional, that older view, and then Paragon Connect, that newer view. And we're gonna be in both views of these software um, today. Um, you also have access here on your dashboard to access your Prime MLS Help Desk. You can click here to access your Help Desk. You can also click on this bright yellow Access Help Desk button, and either one of these options is going to take you to your Help Desk. I like to point out your Help Desk because this is where you can get answers to your questions 24-7. Not only can you reach out to Prime MLS staff by creating a ticket or chatting with us. If you're on your help desk and you see this live chat button in the bottom 
right hand corner. That means our office is open and if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out and chat with us. Of course, you can create that ticket 24 seven. And if our office is closed, we'll be answering those tickets or emails um, when the office is open again. Linda is asking, as a New Hampshire licensee, should we be using Paragon Connect? Yes, if you are just learning the software, I would learn Paragon Connect because that is really the wave of the future. Um, so um, start uh, learning Paragon Connect and I'll get you um, a little more acclimated to that during this webinar, Linda. As we scroll down, you'll see you'll be able to find additional information on doing functions within those searches and setting up folks for the Collaboration Center access behind the Paragon Connect tab. This is also where you're going to find details on downloading Paragon Connect as an app to either your Apple phone or your Android phone. That app is available for both of those devices. And that is a way that you can use Paragon Connect when you're out and about. You can pull up the database on your phone and get the information you need when and where you need it. You also have Paragon Professional, so you'll also see how to do those things um, in that traditional older view of the software. And if you want to review any recorded webinars, um, like maybe since you have until Monday to take the quiz, if you needed a refresher on anything we cover, you can come into recorded webinars and you're going to find a previously recorded just the basics that you can watch at your leisure. And then that also means you can stop rewind, fast forward, go into the system, um, you know, do what you need to do, and then come back to your help desk to um, continue on with the recorded webinar. So lots of great information here on your help desk. And with that, let's jump in to the Paragon professional view um, of the software. So if we were on our dashboard and we clicked on Paragon MLS software, that would open us up to Paragon Professional. And we're gonna start here on our Paragon Professional homepage, talking about your quick search option. So your quick search lives here on your Paragon Professional homepage. So you can start searching for properties the second you log in to Paragon Professional. Now there's some things I can tell about my quick search just by looking at it. First off, I can tell it's customizable kind of is hard to see. So let me make this just a little bit bigger for you. Um, this little um, section here, it kind of looks like a circle. It's really a gear icon. And anywhere you see this little gear or the word customize, that means this section is customizable. So that means I can add, remove, and rearrange the fields I'm seeing here on my default quick search. My default quick search is the one that lives here on my Paragon Professional homepage and will populate for me every time I log in. I can also have other quick searches and I can save those quick searches and then access them from behind load save quick search. Couple of other things I can tell just by looking at my quick search. It is a multi-class search because I have the property class field here. This is also one of my three different types of fields, and this is called an autofill lookup field. And that means as I am putting information into this section, I can start typing and I can select if I want to search for multi-class properties, or I also, in addition to those residential properties that are already in the field, but I also can slide over to my little magnifying glass. If I open up the magnifying glass, this is going to to show me all the potential um, information I could put in this field. So the magnifying glass is helpful for two ways. If I'm not sure what I can put in this field, I can open up the magnifying glass and see my options. It also is a great tool if I want to select multiple options. I can do that, hit save, and it's going to populate in that um, section for me. Of course, if there's anything I need to remove, I can always click on that little bitty X um, next to that class and I can remove that. 
A um, couple of other things I can tell just by looking at my quick search. Um, I have, in addition to my autofill lookup fields, I also have my minimum maximum fields and also my date range fields. So as I scroll down, I'm gonna see those minimum maximum fields and search of my address number. And notice in order to be able to open up this maximum field for that number of the street address, I need to select um, that I want to um, be able to have multiple um, numbers in there. And when I click on multiple, that opens up that maximum field. And that means I could search for properties one through 15 on a specific street name. Um, in addition to the minimum maximum, I also have that high low field. And that is an example in that price searching field. So if I was looking for properties 300,000 and above, I would put that 300 in the low. And if I was looking for properties 400,000 and less, I put that 400,000 in the high field. Now I can also put 400,000 in the low and leave that in the high and the system will give me those exact matches of properties that are exactly 400,000. So I can take that out. We don't want to limit our results here. So let's remove that information and talk about um, a couple of more things I can tell about my quick search just by looking at it. Um, not only do I have um, my autofill lookup fields and my minimum, maximum, high, low. But remember, I also have those date ranges. So if I wanted to search for a um, list date, I could click in the beginning date field and put in that date here, and then also click in the end date, put that there. Of course, notice I have this little calendar icon and it's gonna be quicker to go to the calendar and select the dates from there. But even faster than using the calendar is using your date ranges. When you open up your date range, this allows the system to look seven days back, 30 days back, whatever works for you, including this month, this year, last year. Um, so you have all these options. This is particularly helpful think about running closed searches. When you're looking for properties that are closed in the system, a lot of times you're looking for comps, right? And when you're looking for comps, you're generally going six months back. So instead of putting those stagnant dates in the beginning and the end um, fields, you can just choose six months back. And then if you save this search and come back to it, it's gonna run six months back from the date you're running that search. If you had put in those stagnant dates, you'd actually have to update it and that causes you more work. So I'm all about showing you those quick little options to make working in the system easier for you. Now, you might also notice, in addition to that little magnifying glass, you also have that question mark. Anytime you see the question mark in the system, hover over that. That is a tool tip. And that lets you know if you want to search by more than one MLS number, you can separate those numbers by commas, tab, or enter, and the system will be able to search for multiple MLS numbers for you. You will also see that some fields have this equal section. Now, it makes sense that equal is the default because as you put information in that field, typically you want your results to equal what is put in there. But when we go into Paragon Connect and we start searching by features, I'm going to show you how changing this drop down from equals to not equals sometimes can help you find the information you're looking for a lot quicker. Now, the last thing I want to point out here is when I am looking at my fields, they are just some very basic options, right? So I want to add a few fields. When I am searching for properties, I like to be able to search by bedrooms and bathrooms, and that's not on here. And then I like to be able to search by my date the property was listed, but I also like to be able to do that close date search. So I'm going to add that as well.
Before we go in to start making those customizations, I'm actually going to go back to property class. I'm going to remove that multifamily option, and we're going to talk about saving the search with criteria. Notice when I came to this template, it was already saved with the state of New Hampshire and the property class of residential. Um, the best and quickest way to start customizing the system is go ahead and put in that state field the state or states you're licensed in because typically that's the um, state that you're looking for those results in. So I have New Hampshire and generally when I am looking on my quick search, I'm looking for residential properties. And if I was typically looking for active residential properties, I could also save that on my template. And like I said, it will be easier for me to find that information. So in order to save the criteria or the information that I have in that field, I'm going to do that also under my customize option. So when I click on that uh, gear icon, this is where I'm going to find all the fields I could potentially add to my selected fields. My selected fields are what is currently on my quick search um, template. And if I want to save the information in those fields, um, I am saving my search with criteria. And that means when I make changes here, it's the system will retain that active residential New Hampshire information I have in those fields. Now I can add, I can remove, and I can rearrange my selected fields, what is currently showing on my quick search. The easiest way to find information that I want to add, instead of scrolling through and finding it, is use my find box. So I had those three fields I want to add. I said I wanted to add and be able to search by bedrooms. So if I start typing bedrooms, that's going to bring up bedrooms total. And I can just double click in that field and that is going to add it down to the bottom of my selected fields. I also wanted to add the bathrooms total so I can start typing in bath and there's that option. I could also select and add, but I do find that double clicking is just a little faster. And now, of course, that has been added. Um, last thing I wanted to add was my close date. So if I were to type in date, the system narrows down all those possible fields to my date fields, and I see close date right here, and once again, double click, and now that has been added. Now notice on my selected fields, I am limited to 15 total fields on my quick search. So if I had 15 fields here and I wanted to add one more, I'd have to remove something. I could select, you know, maybe mapping. I never use that when I'm on my quick search. So I could check it and I could remove it. And then that would just add it in my available fields that I could always come back in and add in at a later date. Since I'm not maxed out at 15, I'm going to leave that selected. Now you know how to add and remove. Let's go over rearranging. Just because I added this information, I don't necessarily want to have to scroll to the bottom of my quick search to find it, particularly that close date. I think it makes more sense to have it up with my list date. So I can click in the field, hold, and drag that up and bring it right where I want, right below date MLS list. Now, if I have a couple of fields I want to move at the same time, this is where I can make those selections. And I can use my move up or move down arrows in my center section. So I want to move those up. And maybe I thought I wanted them here, but then I decided, oh, maybe it'd be better right above price. So then I can move down and now everything is exactly the way I want it. So I can unselect here. I've saved my search with criteria. And now I just need to decide which of these three searches, um, save options are going to work the best for me. Ultimately, I'm going to be clicking apply. Apply is going to make this my default quick search, the one that always populates for me when I log in to Paragon Professional. 
if I only wanted it to be one of my saved searches that I can access behind load save quick search, that's when I would use apply save as that allows me to give it a name. Think of a Word document here. So it's kind of the same process. I give it a name and then that away when I want to access it, I can find it within that list. If I had pulled up one of my saved quick searches and I had made some changes to it, but I did not need to change the name, that's when I would use apply save. So I have selected that I'm saving this with criteria. I'm going to hit apply. And now we can see that information is available on my quick search and the information in those fields have been saved for me. Of course, if I want to do that closed search, I'm not married to that information just because it's saved. I can always remove it pop in that closed um, status, use my close dates, go six months back, run that search. But the next time I log in, or if I hit my refresh button, which is my home key, that's going to update my template to exactly how I had originally saved it um, behind my gear icon. So that active under status comes right back up for me. Any questions on customizing and using your quick search? I've just given you the keys to the kingdom. Once you know how to do this, you really know how to customize throughout the system. So if you wanted to go in and customize your Paragon Professional full search, notice when you go up to search, now you have all your classes broken out by class, and there is that multi-class search. So if I wanted to search both residential properties and maybe multifamilies or residential and land in one search, I can do that under multi-class. If I'm looking for a list of all of my saved searches over all of the different classes, I'm also going to find that here under save search, save property searches. Of course, all my saved searches that are done by class are available in that class. So if I click on residential, this is where I'm going to find those saved residential searches. And just like I customize my quick search, I can customize my full search here as well. I will say there's two differences when you're customizing full search and when you're customizing your quick search. So if I come up to customize and I click on field, notice I am no longer restricted to just 15 fields in my full search options. Also notice my save options do different things for me under full search. Remember in quick search, apply made it my default. Here, it just makes the changes and allows me to run those search with it, but it doesn't save it. So when I'm in full search, I'm always um, using apply save as or apply save to save any changes so I can access it again and again and use those updated templates. Templates. Also under apply save as and apply save, that is where I'm able to save my search with criteria and make it a default search. Um, I'll show you and we'll customize in Paragon um, Connect. But before I did that, um, I did want to just show you that you now know how to customize um, your full searches in Paragon Professional as well. So one of the benefits of jumping over to Paragon Connect for me, and this is a huge benefit, I think it just looks better and it is easier to accomplish things, I believe, in Paragon Connect. So remember, I could access Paragon Connect right from my dashboard, but I always have ac I always have access inside of Paragon Professional as well. It's been added this little button to my menu options. So when I click on Paragon Connect, that now opens this view of the Paragon database. And um, if I wanted to see all my menu options here in Paragon Connect, I'm going to go up to my top left uh, hamburger menu. That's these three little lines in the top left corner. And when I click on those, hey, there are all those familiar menu options I'm used to seeing running along the up top of Paragon 
professional. So I've got all those options right here. Just notice that search has been replaced with properties here in Paragon Connect. And if I click on properties, this is once again where I'll see all those different classes of searches. I've got my multi-class search option here and access into all of those saved searches, whether they were initiated in Paragon Connect or Paragon Professional. But I don't have to come into my properties in order to run a residential search. And this is also gonna demonstrate another feature of Paragon Connect that I love. I love to be able to use that back arrow, not something you can do in Paragon Professional. So if I use that back arrow, it's taking me right back to my Paragon Connect home screen. And if I scroll down, I see that I have some quick actions. And these quick actions give me access to do things um, even faster. So instead of having to go behind the hamburger menu, click on properties, and then click on um, residential, I can just do that residential search right from here. And that takes me there even faster. Now you'll notice as I scroll down, I have all the same fields that I'm used to seeing in Paragon Professional here in Paragon Connect. And if I want to um, start customizing, I can do that. Let's take a look at our top right menu options. Let's start right here with this little disk icon. This is how we save in Paragon Connect. And usually if I hover, there we go. If I hover in just the right place, it'll put up that little note letting me know this is how I save. My binoculars are going to help me find information, and this is really going to be helpful if you're on a smaller screen where you have to scroll more, but I can still use it on my larger PC screen. Um, if I wanted to get to those date ranges, I could click on those binoculars, type in date, and instead of having to scroll down to get to them, it just brings them right up here. Once again, just making it a little bit easier. I can access out of this section and open up my primary criteria fields and everything is right back to normal. As soon as we start putting information on our search template, we'll see how we can utilize our criteria summary. Our little folder is gonna give us access to all of our saved residential searches. And then that little kind of backward arrow clock, that's where I have access to those last five searches um, that I've run here in, um, the system, but it's going to pull from both um, Paragon Connect and Paragon Professional. So it's just the last five searches, uh, residential searches that I've run. I have that access. And then the snowman menu, which is your three vertical dots, um, that is your overflow menu. So this is where I have my customize option. And the field I always recommend that you add to your searches is a um, field called public remarks. And I'll explain more about why I want you to add that in just a moment. So, but this is where I'm able to customize. And then also I'm able to save those customizations. And I can even go more into adding uh, additional containers and fields in those containers, but that is something we'll save for tomorrow at 10 a.m. in our Beyond the Basics class, and that'll give you details on adding containers and putting fields in those containers. So I said that we were going to talk about searching by features and you can search by features when you're in your full search function. And notice as I scroll down, I have three different fields um, to search by features. I have the must have, must not have, must have one or more. Thankfully, I also can access all of my feature categories and individual features um, from behind the little inverted triangle. So that's kind of akin to that magnifying glass that we saw on the quick search. When I click on that, it shows me all the potential options. So if I wanted to search by features, Man, do we have a lot of different feature categories. We'll just choose a commonly um, searched by one, and that would be style. So when I scroll down to style and then I open up all our different style options, and man, do we have a lot of those too. Notice under each of those styles, you have those three buttons, must have, must not have, must have one or more. So I think must not have 
probably the easiest to understand, right? If I want to run a search and my folks have said, absolutely, don't show me any antique properties, I can come down here and select to exclude antique properties. And as long as the listing agent came into features, went down to architectural style and selected that their property was an antique, it will be excluded from my search results. This brings me to adding that category of public remarks. We all know some listing agents are better than others, and some listing agents don't go in and put information in all the fields um, that their property has. Why? I have no idea. Because we all know it makes searching for these properties even more difficult. So one way you can kind of have a workaround for those lazy listing agents that don't put all their information in is have public remarks as a searchable field on your template. That's how you can kind of round out your searches, so to speak, and make sure, you know, that you're not missing something. So even if a listing agent was a bit lazy and they didn't come into all the feature um, categories and fill in all the information that's applicable to their property, they very likely might have at least mentioned it in the public remarks. And that's why you want to have that searchable field. So we'll be adding that in a few minutes. Let's talk now about the fields must have and must have one or more. In order to do this, I'm going to go back on my template. So we're going to close out of features. And I'm going to think about a client that maybe comes in and they say, we know our price range. We're probably going to buy a split. Um, so I know properties can be entered as split level and also split entry. So I'm going to select both of those to find those splits. And then maybe one of them says, even though we know we're probably going to buy a split, my dream home is actually an antique property. So can you see if there are any antique properties in our price range as well? So I can certainly do that and I can simply add that as well. And then maybe the other person says, if we're going to look for your dream property, let's look for mine and mine is a bungalow. So I can add that as well. Now, this is where I'm going to use my criteria summary. I'm going to uh, click on that and it's going to show me any of the fields where I have information. And that means the only information I have on my search template is in this must have. And I've put in those four different styles they're looking for. But notice up here by my hamburger menu, it says there's zero results. And it kind of makes sense if you really think about it, because this is the must have field, meaning I'm telling the system to look for a property that's an antique bungalow split level split entry house. And that crazy house does not exist. What I really wanted the system to do is find all the splits, find all the antiques, find all the bungalows. And of course, if there's a property that's a combination of any of those things, let me see those as well. So in order to get those results, I have to put it in the correct field, which would be must have one or more. So when you're looking for multiple features and uh, it is, you know, um, something that you're looking for a combination of, think of that keyword or. You want all those specific properties that meet the requirement. Plus, if there's more, you want those as well. Must have is very limiting. That means you're only going to see the properties that have all the things that you put in that field. So I can easily remove this by clicking on that X and that prevents me from having to remove each of those feature um, categories of style and I can put it exactly in the correct field now. So if I put in split and I can come down split entry, split level, and then I can also get in those bungalows and of course the antique properties as well. And notice as I'm putting information in, I'm getting this little pop up now, and it's letting me know that I am finding more than the searchable results that I can see. We are capped out at 5,000 here in Paragon Connect, and that's way more than you're ever going to need. But 
Once I put the information here, I can go back to my criteria summary and it brings me back to my full listing template. And I can see that I have my information here and I'm gonna be narrowing down these results because now I'm gonna tell the system, I only wanna see those active properties. As soon as I do that, I can see now I'm well below my 5,000 mark and I'm starting to be able to see those results. But I'm gonna keep narrowing down a little bit. I'm gonna narrow narrow down by, whoops, by state. And then I'm even going to narrow down by county a little bit. So now we're down to 103 properties. If I narrow down to just Merrimack County, let's see how many that gets us. All right, perfect. So now we're down to eight results. If I want to save this search so I can access it again, remember, I have that option behind my um little disk icon and I could open that up, give the search a name so that I could find it within that list, save it, and I'd be able to access that search over and over again in either Paragon Connect or Paragon Professional. I also can save this search and attach it to a client and give them access to the Collaboration Center, but that's a whole nother 60-minute webinar that you're welcome to join me for um, at a later date or watch a previously recorded session on your help desk. Um, let's also customize our field before we look at results. So I wanted to be able to, I'm sorry, customize our template. Um, I wanted to be able to add public remarks. So in order to do that, remember, I'm gonna go up to my snowman menu. I'm gonna click on that gear icon and it is going to function pretty similarly to what we saw in Paragon Professional. Um, but if I wanna add something that's not here, I'm just gonna come to this great big plus button. To me, that makes a lot of sense. Once again, I could scroll through, find what I'm looking for, but it's gonna be much faster to use that find box. So if I just said remarks, that's gonna show me my four remarks fields. I'm looking for public remarks. So I can select that that's one that I want and I want it to go in my primary criteria because it's not a date field, so it wouldn't make sense down there. And from here, I can just add. Just like in Paragon Professional, it adds that field down at the bottom, but I can click, hold, and drag and move that up wherever I want it to be. So let's put it, actually, let's put it right there by features. And as I scroll up, now that's going to be right under features, and I think that's a great place for it. Is there anything here on my template that I don't need? Maybe I am never searching for mobile homes in my market. If I don't need it, makes sense that I can just unselect it. And when I hit apply, you'll see that public remarks has been added and moved up to where I wanted it to be on my template. And then these three fields that I don't use, they're going to be removed. So I'll hit apply. We'll now see um, that our template has been updated. Uh, let's scroll down a bit and there's my public remarks. And if I scroll down a little bit more, you'll see those three fields have disappeared. Now, remember, I haven't saved this information. So if I wanna be able to access it again and again, I'm gonna go behind my snowman menu and I'm gonna say update this template. So I could click on that update I could say yes, and then this could be my default residential search that I'm going to see in Paragon Connect or Paragon Professional every time I come to do this search. If I just wanted it to be one of my many searches that I can always access, then I would just save it here, and then I'd be able to find it from the flag. So we're not going to change this, so I'll hit no. And now that I have some results, let's talk about what we can do with those. So in order to see my results, I'm going to click on search, and that lives down at the bottom right-hand corner in Paragon Connect. And that is first going to bring me to my thumbnail view. But I have this little, I think it looks like a comb. Um, I guess we could call it our um, results uh, icon because when I click on this results icon, that allows me to change to either a map view or I could click and go to a spreadsheet view. 
And from any of these views, I can look at my property report and I can share one or multiple properties. So let me show you how that works. If I wanted to see a property report, I can click on the photo and that brings me to my very full uh, Paragon Connect property report. I can look through photos by scrolling, or if when I'm looking at the thumbnails, I can click on that and that's gonna update that larger view. I can click on my map option and it's gonna show me where this is on a map and I can use my zoom in, zoom out buttons. Street view is applicable to the Google map and as long as the Google car went down that road, collected this information, I've got a 360 view and I can even walk down that road and um, look at that area. I can go back to my photos, scroll down, and here's all that information I'm used to seeing in Paragon Professional. I can click on show more and it's gonna give me all those fields that I'm used to seeing. If I don't need to have all this showing, I can collapse it by clicking on that little arrow. If I wanna see agent and office information, I can open that up. And if I'm viewing this property report on my phone, I'd easily be able to call that listing agent. Whether I'm, my, I'm on a phone or a larger device, I can always email. And I can collapse that when I no longer need it. Let's see if I've got some documents here. Great. One of the things folks asked for in Paragon Professional for years, why can't I print all my documents in one print job? You can't do that in Paragon Professional, but you sure can do it here in Paragon um, Connect. And all you have to do is click on print PDF. As long as it's a PDF, you can select all. And when you hit print, all three of those documents will print for you. Of course, if there's, of course, if there's something you don't need, you can unselect it. And when you hit print, the ones that are selected will print for you. Great feature here in Paragon Connect. You also have that property history that you're used to seeing in Paragon Professional, but there's even more. Public record information is being pulled into this property report, and that's via the owner of Paragon, which is ICE, and they're bringing this information to you so that you don't even have to go out to a third-party site like CRS to get additional information. But if you want to, you can, and I'll show you where you can access that CRS and third-party information here. There's also two extra sections, and one of my favorites is this community reports. If you're familiar with the Collaboration Center, your buyers have access to this, and that means they've got statistical information based on this address. They can get school information. Nearby establishments is my favorite because it says, you know, those um, public places like banks, hospitals, police stations. Um, usually they all populate here for me, but for some reason, this address, I'm not getting anything. Um, normally I can have up to 300 um, places that I'll see um, how far it is from this address. But I think we're pretty rural here, so that makes sense why we're not seeing that. There's even a home values tab here. I said there was ways to share one and multiple properties. So if you wanted to share this property report, you've got this share option. And when you're on your computer or laptop, you're going to be able to email or copy link. When you're looking at this property report on your phone, you'll have that third option to be able to text. And then if you go straight up to your right hand corner, you've got that option to print. Right now we have an agent full and a customer full that is printable here in Paragon Connect. You can get your driving directions. You've got your third party sites. That means if I wanted to go get more information from CRS about this property, I could click on CRS data property report. I can see that I've got some Paragon information that I can easily see. And I've got a clickable MLS number that will give me that agent full Paragon detail page. I can click on the address here in CRS. And now I've got access to even more information. So what you see on your CRS property report will vary from state to state, county to county, but there's a lot of great information here, including the ability to go right into the FEMA website if you need details on the FEMA flood zone. So this is a clickable link. And when you click on that, it takes you right to the source of the information, which I always appreciate. And remember, I got here right from that CRS property 
data report. I clicked on that firm panel ID and I jumped into CRS from um, my property um, report here in Paragon Connect from my third party site. I also have a feature for the Collab Center, which allows me to manually add manually add a property into my contacts collaboration center that is outside of their saved search. And this feature is called agent recommended. And then if you want to keep track of those properties, um, these results that you have on your searches that you've run, a great way to keep track of results is start compiling listing carts. So I can add this property to a listing cart and then I would be able to find it behind my hamburger menu under listing carts um, in my main menus options. So remember, I came to this spreadsheet from my search results. And then from here, I'm able to look at these um, properties on the spreadsheet, the thumbnail, and that map view. I can also share an individual property report, or I can select multiple property reports and send them this way as well. I do like to show on your map view that you also can send multiple reports because there is a new feature. So when I am looking at that one property, notice here it has that property's address, and then it allows me to toggle through those eight results with next and previous. And once again, I can select from here and then just check any of the ones of these eight that I want to share. And now I have that option to do so. And being able to do this from the map is a new feature here in Paragon Connect. So you have seen all the different ways that you can get your results. And then once you have your results, how you can share those results in Paragon Connect, let's hop back into Paragon Professional and I'll show you how to do that as well. So once you have customized, actually, let's close that out. Let's refresh. And oh, I didn't save that. Had I saved, let's actually do that real quick. Let's see if I can... Uh, save this. So this would be, let's just do a test. Actually, let's put some numbers in front of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, test. And I just do that so I can easily find it. I'm going to save this and I'd be able to see those results. And if I go back to see if it will let me get back to um, my criteria here, I can also save this search. So um, we have saved that. Huh, that's weird. It didn't give me the, I guess it's going to use the same name. Now, if I come back here, I'm able to see that information. So I can come into search, go to residential, load, save, search. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, test. Now I have that information. I've saved it in Paragon Connect and I'm pulling it up in Paragon Professional. So that means I'm gonna get those same eight results. And when I go to my search options, now I'm only seeing those options here on my um, spreadsheet. But from this spreadsheet, once again, I can select one or multiple properties and then I can email, text, and I can print. Couple other things I can do before I get to those options. I do like to show um, all your different report views. Um, and notice I have a whole section here under my report views for favorites. And I'm a big fan of favorites because not only does it help me find these reports in Paragon Professional, quicker and easier than say, scrolling down here, opening up all my detailed reports and then having to find it here. So if I find one that I like, I make it a favorite. So maybe customer with lender. See how I have that star? I can click on that star. And now next time I wanna use customer with lender, I don't have to scroll down here and find it under the details section. I'm gonna find it right in my favorites. And if I wanna move it up to the top, click hold and drag, and it's right up at the top. Now, the reason why this is also important is because not only will it show my favorites in this order here, but when I go to text or print, it puts those favorites at the top of that list as well. So this helps me a number of different places. With that, let's say I want to email these three reports that I've selected. I can come up here to my email option and 
Once again, if I wanted to use that customer with lender, notice how it's right at the top of my available reports. So I could definitely come in here and I could select that. I could add that. I could unselect that customer full or I could even remove it. Um, but what I would say I would like you to start doing, because I think that property report in Paragon Connect is better than any of my options here in Paragon Professional. And I like to save myself time. So instead of sending that hyperlink with access to that customer with lender, I like to just change this to collab link. And that way, um, all the folks that I'm emailing to in Paragon Professional um, gets the um, Paragon Connect view of that property report because it's got all that great information. And from here, if I wanted to actually send all eight listings, I could select that or I could just leave it selected to those three. Um, but if I choose the hyperlink, I always like to show you this. So let's remove that one. Let's do that eight customer with lender. We'll add that. Um, if I want to send this out, I can show you what this looks like when I go to email. If my client opens this email on a big screen, like a PC or her computer, she will indeed see that report that I chose. However, if my client opens my email on a phone, and let's face it, most people are, the system is going to know they're looking at that information on a smaller screen. It's not going to make sense to try to squeeze all that information in this Paragon professional report down to fit in that phone screen. So the system is going to show them the Paragon Connect report view because that was built to be viewed on a smaller device and they've opened it on a smaller device. So once again, instead of people seeing different views, I like to just click that collab link. It makes it a lot easier other than them coming here, you know, and if, if they're on a bigger screen, yeah, sure, they'll see all this information and that's great. But if they're on a smaller screen, they're going to see that mobile um, view that's available in Paragon Connect. Um, and it's going to have, you know, it's going to look like this and it's going to make more sense just to go ahead and send that out rather than trying to have them view all that information on that small screen. Let's close that out. Let's close this out as well. And let's stay in Paragon Connect. We'll um, get out of our email section and we'll talk about texting. Because um, I do think maybe texting is easier if you're on your bigger screen, you can just jump back over into Paragon Professional um, and you can text from here as long as you have your cell number set in your preferences that will allow you to um, text. Now, when you hit share, um, the system wants to help make this as easy as possible. So let's cancel that out. Why is that doing that? Oh, because I said collab link share. I meant to click on text. Um, if you are sending this information to somebody who's already in your contact list, you can just click on that magnifying glass and select the person you want to send this to. But if it is somebody that's not in your contact list, you're going to need to put in their first name, their last name, and of course, a phone number because you're texting it. So I'll just use myself. The um, thing that is great about this is I'll only have to do this once because once I put this information in, the system system not only sends that text, but it also saves as a contact. So the next time I want to text this information, I can just click on their name and I don't have to put in their um, information again. So that makes it a lot easier. So once I'm ready, I can select that, send that message. And now when I go on my phone, I'm going to have those three properties in a um, text so I can view them. And then finally, when you want to print, yep, you have lots of options here in Paragon Professional. So you can print out all those different reports. But notice when you go over to print, you have two print options. Print is always going to print exactly what's on your screen. So that means it's going to print this spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet is really only good to look at on a um you know, like on a screen. I don't want to actually print it out because it's going to, you know, print kind of wonky um, and it might be on multiple pages and then I can't line things up. So anytime I want to print, I want to make sure I always go to print plus. 
Print Plus is where I can print one or multiple listings in one or multiple views. So once again, I can come in, I've got three selected. If I wanted to go to all eight, I could make that change. And then I can decide which you know report views do I wanna send. Maybe I wanna do that customer with lender because we're going out to see these properties. And then I also wanna do my um, agent light because that will give me the information I need to see. So I can select those, add those, those and I can um, remove that spreadsheet because I don't want to print that out. And then from here, I could hit print or print preview and it would show me all three of those listings first in the customer with lender information view and then in the agent light view. So once again, now I'm getting all that information that I want to see. And we are right at time. I am happy to answer any questions you may have. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Um, I hope we have seen some fun information in Paragon Connect that uh, makes you want to go in there and start exploring that. Remember, you can review all of this information on your help desk, and I'll be getting that quiz out to you within the next half hour. I'll stick around for a few minutes just in case anybody has any questions. But